Welcome to Entrepreneurship 101. Tonight we have our second Lived It Lecture of the Year, which focuses on clean tech. And we're delighted to welcome the founder and chief technology officer of Hydrogenics, Joe Carnelli. The first word that came to mind as I try to put this presentation together and sort of amass 15 years of, uh, of lessons and experiences, the word vision. When you start off, you're, you really need to sort of look into the future and try to predict, uh, try to envision, I guess, um, what the world will be like five years, 10 years, 15 years out. Develop a plan and don't be scared to stick with the plan if you know the plan is right. Energy is such a hot issue. The demand for your product could rise or fall based on elections. How, how do you deal with the uncertainties? Have you had to go as far as getting involved in lobbying or anything like that? And how has that affected your business? As a company, what uh, what we were good at was we were able to sort of adapt very quickly when sort of uh, something would come up, something uh, good or bad. So being able to quickly respond to changes in the call it political climate uh, proved to be very important. Um, you constantly need to be sort of monitoring change and one of the first words I used was vision. Well vision is you know again trying to predict the future so you're always trying to sort of look out and make sure that you know does the plan match up with the events that you see, adjust the plan a little bit, continue to monitor the events and continue to adapt and be nimble. Um, I'm curious when you started how did you become known? How did you manage to get to close a deal with NASA? How did you get that perspective to, to know who is the people who will use your product when you are starting something that is fairly new? You heard about all my travels between Chicago and Quebec City, so we, we got out there. Getting out to industry events and talking to people in the industry, sharing with them your vision, uh, that was uh, probably the, the number one thing that, that we did. But the last word that came to mind was focus. Uh, at, you know, at times it's sort of difficult to decide uh, what you focus on. The one thing I think that I've learned, uh, you know, that word focus, um, don't spread yourself too thin. Focus on a few key things that can really make a difference. Uh, thank you very much.